Hey friends, Pastor Scott here. Thanks for joining us for another one of our God at Work Through You. Uh, this month, this month of February, we're excited to have Brian and Ellen Schultz with us. Thanks for joining us, guys. You're welcome. Thanks for asking um, us. Yeah, of course. <laughs> what we want to really highlight um, this month is the work that God has done through you and, and a whole bunch of other people at Lutheran Memorial Church. In the past, you guys have led cookies around Christmas time, but you changed it up this year. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, we decided that Valentine's Day might be a nice time to share God's love with friends that we knew of, and uh, willing workers at Luther Memorial just contributed. And so they, they 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 gave their time, their talents, their gifts, their cookies, right? Yes, and, and willingness to serve and put the trays together and provide names of people who they thought could use some blessings. Right, and that's where I want to really focus in on. We got all these great blessings of food and stuff, and that is so amazing, so thank you for your support of that. <laughs> but the truly awesome stuff happened when you guys came back and shared and other people shared just how grateful and thankful they were of receiving these treats. And it wasn't just the treats that they received, right? What really moved these people, Brian? Well, it was the time that we had to spend after we delivered the treats, they all, almost everyone wanted you to come in and, and stay a little while and, and talk. They just liked the visits and, uh, you know, sometimes helping when one person had a ice at the end of their driveway and I was able to get rid of most of that. And uh, We don't believe in coincidence, that's all God's timing. That's God's timing, <laughs> yes. yes it is. Yes. And, and I, I really appreciate the fact that you said that they wanted to visit. We, we know in our culture today that, that so many people are lonely. I, I just read an article this morning um, that a grocery store in the Netherlands opened up a slow checkout lane where they purposely um, <laughs> have cashiers that are willing to talk to people, especially yes. older people, um, those that may not have as many people to talk to and feel isolated. And so what a blessing it was that not only were we able to share these treats, but you were able to share some time, whether it was five minutes or up to 35 minutes um, with those people. And you believe they're really impacted by this, right? We do, we do. And they were, I've received phone calls from some people already that had the treats and they were just astounded at what was in there. We were given, um, someone donated beef jerky sticks and cheese curds. It wasn't just all sweets. That's so they awesome. were very thankful for that. So our congregation deserves some thanks. Yeah, for sure. And and, and again, thank you, Luther Memorial, for all your support of that. And, and thank you for you guys and, and the team putting them together and delivering them. Yes. And, and we had a little bit more conversation too after this. We know this is a need, not just at Valentine's Day or Christmas. And, and so knowing that we're gifted for more, I, I think this is an opportunity for the church, mm -hmm. whether that be Luther Memorial, of course, because that's where you guys go and that's where mm -hmm. I'm blessed to be right now and shepherding, you know, but the church at large has a huge opportunity. If grocery stores are figuring out ways to slow down and chat with people who may be lonely, mm -hmm. don't you and I agree that there's more that the church could be doing in a sense of, how can we find a way to meet these people where they're at? Definitely. Yes, and, and the person that does the delivering gets so much out of it too. I mean, uh, it's just the opportunity to, to see those mm -hmm. smiling faces and uh, to find out more about, uh, mm -hmm. I found a lot, a lot of history about uh, uh, some of the people I delivered to and uh, what they did for occupation and, and uh, what their enjoyments and, and were and hobbies. So it, uh, it's a two-way street. It's it is. not just going to the... It's not just going one way. It's a blessing. But, mm -hmm. but, you know, the idea is there that they do have stories and they do want to share. And a lot of time they just don't have that opportunity. So I invite you and I invite you guys at, at home, who are, wherever you are in, in watching this, to pray with us that, that the church at large figure out a way that we can do more to, to bless these people and train up and equip the saints for ministry so that they too then can go out and, and be gifted for more. And sometimes just taking that time to slow down at the checkout lane <laughs> and have a conversation for 20 to 30 minutes. You guys got anything you want to add at the end here? I, I would like to add that I think it would be nice to have some children along sometimes. I think children can really brighten up some people's lives, and the children also would learn from the 
people that we visit. That's a great idea. So we'll be praying into that as well. So thank you, Brian. Thank you, Alan. Thank you to all you at LMC who made this possible. Um, without you, this would not be able to be done. So I invite you to join us again next month for another God at Work Through You. God's blessings, friends.